Oh, Hello, boy. everybody. On Boba today's episode of Boba Fett, the book of... Oh, wait, you're not even on screen yet. <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, now do whatever you want. Hello. Welcome, Hi. everyone, to Hello. the book of Boba Hello. Fett, Hello. season Boba one, episode Fett. two, episode live two. reaction Which slash asterisk react recorded gonna be by EFAP. Also, Jay is here to join us. We're gonna have Jay saw a big drama. flex of fit in the sand We're gonna that we had have to man. explore He's along with us. Look at his mucusy goodness. Maybe we'll see more sand. Mm. There'll be some fights and it'll be great. Yeah, we things will be great. We are excited to see where this story may go. We are the uh, biggest excited. Star Wars fans on the web. On the web zone. Yep. What happened last time, as you said, there was drama. Yeah, um, there was drama. They they went and they talked to somebody and then they got attacked. And then Boba Fett went back into his little pod and had a flashback where he fought Matchamp and won. True. <laughs> uh, all those things yeah. are what happened. It was 38 minutes of content, but... You could be fooled into thinking it was ten minutes. That first episode, there was there was more wrong with it than we'd even pointed out. Do you know that? Do you know I'm, that that's the I'm truth? I'm sure that that's the case. I'm case certain. You didn't get everything on board. Not watch even everything. As you wow. were posting on it live, I love it that like yeah, the Mandalorian armor is equipped with so many like gadgets and weapons and tools. And they never use the appropriate one. They, they just never do. <laughs> okay, now you need to burn that. Burn it. But no, don't shoot it. Burn it. But no, okay, but don't burn that. No, that's that's what I get watching these shows. Well, yeah, because there were people who were even like, you you seem to be okay with his death and Return of the Jedi. I was like, oh yeah, we've talked before about how dumb it is that he closed the distance. Goes right up to Luke just to try and shoot him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh he man. Gets his little thing chopped up. And hey, look, in Robot Chicken, it made more sense. He was drunk. Well, my face is a big letter T. Oops, you okay to fly, man? Hey, trust me, Isaac, I drunk better when I drive! Oh, pardon, foul, you made me drink my spill! I wanted to mention, this was actually pointed out by Fringy in the original version. It got cut because we thought it was, like, answered, but it isn't actually. The complication was, like, when they go into the place, they're like, would you like your Gamorrean guards to be cleaned? Would you like your Gamorreans hosed down and fed while we are sequestered? And then they go off, and then we don't... Well, I thought we don't see them again until they save him, which is kind of just like, okay, I guess that lines oh, up enough. No, 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 it's fine. This won't take long. We can do it right here. I, I thought the whole so point of them doing that life. was to explain why the guards weren't there when he got attacked. Only there's this shot where they're coming out and they're right behind them and then they disappear. Yeah, just gone. We talked about like the cringiness of it, but I don't think we mentioned just, just outright. I don't know that anybody in universe should be calling themselves a crime lord, especially crime lords. I'm the crime lord. He's supposed to pay me. Shall I kill him? <laughs> it was awkward, yeah. We have an official title that's more, it's I like, mean, not for like tax purposes necessarily, but just because you don't want to call yourself a crime lord. It sounds it's, yeah, it's, cartoony it's the same, as fuck. It's the same, like, same energy as like someone who, who like introduces themselves to you as a pussy slayer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually, well, Jay, that's, if you recall, that's actually how we met. Mm, I introduced true. myself to you as a pussy slayer. Well, I've been skeptical ever since. No, but yeah, it's, it's like it's, calling it's, yourself the chosen one. It's not even just calling himself, it's the way that he does, when in, in the scene where he's like, but I'm supposed to be the crime lord. It's like, it's like oh. do you want to do crime? A lot of people pointed out and they don't know why we didn't, and I don't know why we didn't. Uh, we were like talking about the Jawas taking all of his coins and stuff. Like, why the fuck didn't the Jawas take his helmet? It's, yeah, it's, it's, helmet. it's worth way more than the coins. It's a Mandalorian helmet. It's Maybe like they're crazy. stupid. That's true. Maybe they are fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they took all of his armor before, but they didn't take it this time because it would be annoying right. if they did. Because then we'd have to go find it. But And yet, we didn't need any of that, because why didn't they give him his coins in a bag instead of in his <laughs> helmet that he needs to wear? No. Put all these coins in your yeah. helmet. It's like, imagine, what? Yeah. imagine that's the, the plot of Book of Boba Fett, as people just keep stealing his armor and, and you, you <laughs> get it back. getting it back. Oh, not again. Get it back. For um, sake. Damn thieves! There was kind of interesting thing about the... The Gamora gods are introduced as like you had your bosses being both Jabba and um, uh, Bib Fortuna. These two Gamorians were once bodyguards to Jabba the Hutt and later Bib Fortuna. They did not surrender even after their patron was killed. 
And then he's like, you were loyal to them, will you be loyal to me? And I just think, like, the most obvious thing would be like, well, you killed the, my last boss. Because he's like, I'll spare you if you're loyal to me. And at that point, it's like, I don't know if that loyalty is going to be worth a lot. I guess what we've seen it is worth something. It's just funny to think about, right? Like, no. we are definitively loyal to our past boss. Like, will you be loyal to me, the one who killed him? You're like, all right. Well, and then he took him out for a test drive immediately, and that worked out well. It did work out well. I yeah. guess it just yeah. makes you think, though, if we did this show in a way that I think would be more interesting, which is less action, more focus on actually running this business. Getting it started, have... rather. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, exactly. If we just focus on that, we could have more of these elements coming into play. The idea of loyalty and how do you keep people loyal to you? How do you maintain your empire? How do you deal with people who want to go after their own slice of the pie? Like, that feels to me like a much more interesting story than just yeah. three fight scenes every episode and then scenes where people barely say anything. Imagine the tension you could get in that. It's a problem with Mando, and I feel like it's going to be the problem with this show based on the first episode. There is like so little of characters expressing differing perspectives and just having conversations about those perspectives in this in these shows. I don't it's know who these so people are. When, in. And the action in this in this is so common. It's like if you remember like in the original films. When two named characters are fighting, you really get the sense of like, oh, one of these characters like could like very late is like very likely to die or get seriously injured here. There wasn't there was you you're right. There was definitely like not nonsense fights, because like Battle of Hoth, it's like this is consequential. Yeah, rebels are dying. We have to meaningful. escape. We have to form a plan. We got to exactly. get out of here. We got to regroup. Then, the, like the the main the... occasions that like the battles aren't consequential that pop to mind is like the shit on the Death Star where the stormtroopers let them escape. Which well, so then it is consequential. Yeah, right? well, like, exactly. It's, it's like the fact that the action isn't having the same consequence it normally would is is plot significant. Yeah, and then and then you think like again in Empire Strikes Back when uh, Han is trying to escape with the Falcon, it's like all right, so we're getting character here. We're seeing like how resourceful and and like quick on his feet Han is in terms of getting them to safety, hiding them, finding places to hide, and just his overall competence in navigating the Falcon. It's like man, this is we're achieving stuff here. But here it's just like we need a fight scene, so bad guys show up, and of course, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure we'll get more in the next episode about who they are, but like. I bet you only get like a two minute scene of them talking and then we'll just have a lot of long shots of like landscapes and a bunch of people in really cool costumes and stuff. That's gonna you know, like, I, I would really like to see what I, I think would be really interesting because like a perspective of Boba, right? Like if he's in like a, a fight with someone, like an even fight with someone, he's made a mistake because you don't want to be doing that every day. You don't want to be having like yeah, absolutely. An, an evenly matched fight to the death every day. Absolutely. Or three times you will really know him. What, what I don't, don't believe he's looking be for honor in. either in his yeah. fights. What I'd be really interested to see if, like, like, Boba was like a really sneaky piece of shit in the way he fights. Oh well, I mean, that's he was clever and guileful, and he used to or, yeah, like a like I'm a real at, like ordering hits on people, like and not a soldier. So, like, if if the mayor is a bad guy, I guess the thing would be let's subvert him. Let's not just go and have a big fight scene. It's like let's find ways to screw up with his production. We'll steal stuff on in transit. We'll sabotage facilities. It's like, come on, give us. Yeah, give us we'll like, bribe his people. We'll get exactly. some spies in there, and then let's see what he does in retaliation. Into instead of just sending people to kill us, like let's see something a little more interesting than that. I, I guess it just feels like with this show, I get real worried after that first episode. It's like you know that there are more interesting things than just people fighting. Like, <laughs> especially happen. when the fights are really shit, which is kind well, of the like the layer good, on yeah. top of everything that we've talked That's about true. in the way that Walt fights one of the like major antagonists of that show um, mm -hmm. towards the end. That's the kind of shit I want to see Boba pulling. That's, that's it is interesting to think about that we have a show which is to do with like you know criminal organizations and illegal activities that is establishing networks like great television shows, and you're not using that as a point of reference at all. Well, to be like, fair, what even is the material of this empire? Well, I, I guess the problem is we don't know because they haven't told done us anything <laughs> to establish it or tell us. Yeah, we, yeah. we don't, and it feels really awkward because we we kind of expected this with this show. It's like, man, is this going to be like the template for all the Star Wars shows? Like, please don't stick to this template, please. Like, can we do something else? Or at least have the decency to, if you're going to shove combat sequences in Make all the time, really have them be good. 
Yeah. Well, speaking of that, um, more... one of yeah. the top comments on our video was like, if portable shields that can absorb blasters and explosives are a thing, doesn't that like fuck with everything? Like, shouldn't that just be yeah. applied to everyone everywhere in all wars yeah. and stuff? Really, we had this question really with the fucking tech. Gungans 20 years ago. I think they actually followed but... up with the Gungans on that comment saying that at least with the Gungans, the, they've shown that their shields can be walked through and that, um, you know, like this, they're, they're specialized for just energy that hits them or something like that. But like, yeah, yeah. I think you're still right that those should probably pop up more as well. Yeah, yeah the droid echo shields and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And apparently, yeah, they don't only block everything, they also electrocute to some degree because the one guy gets thrown yeah, on yeah. it and he's like, ah. ah, ah. Um, think of how expensive those must be to have compared to just like a handgun that you just can, can buy anywhere on Tatooine and none of them have those. No, that, I, I remember. Uh, what I want with a handgun. I remember when I was editing, I uh, I zoomed in on them running away with the things on their back, and I'm like, oh right, they weren't guns, right? <laughs> like, they don't well, have yeah, guns. The last thing this person said was like, maybe the way they balance it is that if you use that shield, you have to use a shitty cattle prod. It's like, yeah, that's <laughs> the only like, way. Oh yeah, you only have it's like Mordhau. You only have a certain amount of points left after you pick the shield. Yeah, mm -hmm. not enough points for a gun, but you can have this stick yeah, and it inconveniences people stick. kinda. It doesn't have a yeah. knife on the on the electric thingy? Doesn't Boba get no, stabbed? It doesn't seem to work that it way. It would be better if it was just a sharpened piece of metal. It honestly would. Like it really yeah, it's, would. I'm pretty sure he just gets electrocuted shocky... for the most part. I thought he got stabbed. I thought it looked like it. The way he, he was just, holding like, his with it and then it goes and yeah, then he's like, like oh, oh that no. hurts. Ooh, that's, uh, that's don't do that again. Oh, that bad ooh, if you did ooh, that. Ow. Regarding the whole like crime thing. It was another um, top comment. I like reading these out. It's fun. Uh, if you remember Mandalorian Season 2, we had to read out a lot of people who were very angry at us. Shitty writing is shitty writing, regardless of what's popular at the time. Oh, beautiful. That sounds about right. Mwah. Yeah. Maybe they'd like it if the writers put in some effort. <laughs> yeah. I think we'd yeah. like it a lot more if they did. I, that'd be fucking tits, man. And then Jesse the coming back in with the, the right The returning champion. Stop it! Stop it, Jesse! <laughs> Bad, oh my bad god. dog. Bad dog. <laughs> this time around, it's a lot of people who are very nice. angry at the show. Um, <laughs> the, the huts are incredibly powerful and they control a lot of the galaxy. After Jabba got killed, all the living huts would have been swarming to Tatooine to avenge him and take back his territory. But hypothetically speaking, let's say Bib Fortuna was allowed to keep his stuff. Why? I don't know, but the writers don't care, so neither should you. There should be a massive power vacuum. Other crime families will try and take advantage of the change in leadership and try to take over the territory mm -hmm. while people who are loyal to Jabba may not like Bib Fortuma, but will try and become independent, or even revolt against him. But let's say that didn't happen. Let's say Bib kept all of Jabba's power. Uh, well, that's stupid, but whatever. As soon as Boba killed him and took his place, the same thing would happen to him, especially since he's a bounty hunter and shouldn't have any knowledge of how it, to run a crime organization, but also doesn't have much pre-existing power. He has a single follower. The skill of, a, of this follower is impressive, but that's just one follower. None of Jabba's forces should obey Boba and all the crime bosses should be on the offensive trying to claim as much of the turf as they can. There should be turf wars in the streets, total anarchy, but instead people are actually giving Boba offerings and respect. And the sniper lady, I don't remember her name and can't be bothered to look it up, <laughs> actually has the <laughs> gag, the goal, to be offended by the mayor asking Boba to pay him. The premise of the show is beyond stupid and people are going to eat it up anyway. Yep. Pretty much yeah, it. Spot on. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I guess it's just the big thing is there's no reason why we can't have a really cool Star Wars show that is a little bit more cerebral. Your work is more cerebral than I expected. Say some more. It was odd. Instead of calling him like Fat and Boba, can you call him like Fat Booba? <laughs> You can call him Fat uh, Booba. Fat I'm not Booba. calling him that. He got he got in shape for this. Yeah. Um, what about but in, in a good Booba. way? No. What about Flat Sheen? Flat Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the things uh, people took issue with, there was a couple people saying this is unfair. The whole reason he didn't use the jetpack in the fight because he didn't want to leave Fennec behind. That, that was Bullshit. that's the reason. I don't know, just grab her by the arm and um, what if you flew out of the thing? So how are you gonna help? That's how you help her. Well so is, uh, I can't do anything here. You so. don't have to this thing, uh, uh, I wasn't suggesting he run away. I was suggesting he get a better vantage point to prevent the cattle yep. prods from hitting him. Constantly yeah. over yeah, they, and over. Have, they have melee weapons and he can fly. Exactly. Like, like that's I thought that was obvious. So he just goes up and then he can use whatever he wants. And he can get behind him as well. I can't believe he just shot a rocket at the shield. It was the stupidest fucking thing he could have done. <laughs> like it blows them all like, themselves up. It's like Jesus. Like, so it's like you remember that, that old Simpsons joke where it's like um that guy's putting challenge? Well, I do have a surprising abundance of Lee Carvalho's putting challenge. Oh. Yes. And the whole challenge is that it's it's a video game where you just select 
You know, like you, you, you're on the green, Fiverr, you're playing yeah. game of golf. Welcome to Lee Carvello's putting challenge. I am Carvello. Now choose a club. I was like, select the, your club and the, the the strength of your swing. And it's like, oh, you're right next to the hole. Do you want to putter in a, a, a light tap? You have chosen a three wood. May I suggest a putter? Three wood. Or do you want like a, what a, a wedge and a power drive? I don't remember the actual names. It's like that. Now enter the force of your swing. I suggest feathered touch. You have entered power drive. But like they're actually failing the test. It's like, oh, there's a guy right in front of you with a melee weapon. What obvious course of action are you going to take? Oh, you've selected power drive. <laughs> Ball is in. Parking lot. <laughs> You've selected <laughs> rocket lot. point play. The ball is in. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to play again? You have selected no. <laughs> Would you like to play again? You have selected no. <laughs> <gasps> you got me. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm hoping... That we just don't keep getting examples of him being a fucking moron in fights. This is the part of the mm -hmm. video where we flash forward to a part of yeah. the episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone was like, why didn't you use the flamethrower to go underneath the shields as a gap and you would have gotten their feet and stuff? And it's like, yeah, that would be clever. But we don't do that. I nope. saw a comment from someone that was getting some up for saying, has John Favreau ever done anything good? It's like, damn, yes, he has. Iron Man is good. Iron Man, Iron Man is, is good. really good. Yeah, he's done. Iron Man Two was fine. I want my board. Well, it might it might not be that good, but it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not terrible. It's not awful. Just unfortunate because mm. it's madness. He's awarded two at Boba. It's like, ugh. And okay. also did the Lion King. Clearly um, not trying with these, all right. Man, imagine if when you're in a position like in life where you're working on Star Wars TV shows and they're like, eh. <laughs> Nah, whatever. Nah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. That is such whatever. an interesting place to be in. <laughs> yeah. When you don't care about Star Wars TV shows. Someone highlighted, and I, I'm surprised. We, I think we were just so lost on, like, what the fuck was even happening. But um, the Tusken Raider group decide, yes, after Boba knocked out the dog, almost killed the child, and escaped, we're going to send him off with the child and the dog. I don't um, even yeah. know what was going on there. That's so just, yeah, all that shit's just water. bizarre. I also yeah. don't know why they had to go this far away to search for these yeah. water You guys should be fruits. moving your camps <laughs> to be closer to these things, right? Or do you have a it fixed like location it. where you stay? I, I thought that this was, isn't... Well, surely they're nomadic, right? The thing about Tatooine that we see is that it, it seems to be just sand dunes. It's not like the deserts of Afghanistan or something like that, where there's like trees and shrubs and bushes and rivers and stuff. It's just kind of rocky and more sparse. Yeah, there's no you know, variety something. to the desert. You're yeah, right. it's just all sand. And so when I see these big ass creatures popping out of the uh, out of the sand, I'm like, what do you? What do you? How do you live? What do you, yeah, eat, do you eat to be that size? Well, yeah, and it'd be like strong. if you're walking out in the Sahara and then a giant crocodile just burst out of the sand. Like I'm going to get you. It's like <laughs> no. What do you yeah, know? Yeah. You think about how he kills the creature, mm -hmm. and so he's got basically all the leverage he wants, and he did actually make the decision of, I will go back with the kid to the Tuscans, and hopefully they won't just keep me as a slave. That was yeah, quite a game. He was really thirsty. Remember, he was intending to run away with the Greedo alien? He was like, yeah. don't alert the kid, he's sleeping. I know a way out of here. We can get to Anchor here. I can get us off world. And so instead of doing that, he, he really was like, I'm pretty sure that because I killed this thing that they're going to like me now. It's like, damn, that's a risk, buddy. Was running into the desert also a risk? It well, I'm a, a risk, so but... he seemed to think not. Well, yeah, that's what he wanted to do at first. Yeah, Unless like he's he... changed his mind, like, oh, that's not a good idea. Obviously, this will all work out. They're going to like him eventually because that's where he was at Mando season two. So. And they're going to yeah. teach him how to fight with that stick. Yes. Isn't and something kind of weird that he needs to be taught fighting now, even though he's already a trained. Well, fighter. I guess you can it's... argue it's fighting with the sticks different. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. Because I was yeah, thinking I, about this after I seen... this, he, he never he was he was sick on the day they taught stick fighting. Yeah, because <laughs> I thought about this after I watched the uh, the episode. I was like, why why do we need him to do training now with the it's stick? It's weird. Django, Django was smart and is like every minute that I could be teaching you how to fight with a stick, I could be teaching you how to shoot. Yeah. 
how to use firearms and how to use your gadgets and gizmos and things like that. You know, things you'll actually do, not stick fight. Because why the fuck would we be fighting with sticks? This is space. What yeah. the fuck? I'm not going to teach you shit. how to fight with a stick. This is how you shoot accurately and quickly. You don't need a stick when you can shoot your rockets and your flamethrowers and your lasers and knee exactly. rockets. Lasers. Knee rockets. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even see him that. use the knee rockets. Can you believe didn't it? Didn't even. They put That's him the on time. and everything. Maybe he's going to use them at the worst possible time <laughs> to use his knee rockets. When is Another the shield. worst possible like, time? Release the knee rockets. Like, imagine like when someone's holding him by the knee. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got uh -huh. you, Boba Fett. You can't uh -huh. stop me now. I've got your knee. <laughs> like, well, why don't you, why don't you think again? Knee trick. <laughs> the old exploding <laughs> knee trick. Grab my rocket knee. My knee rockets. No, I know the worst Remember? time for him to use his, his knee rockets. He's standing at like a wall that just goes to like the to like his his thighs, and the he, and the rockets just just hit the wall, and he's like, "Oh fuck!" Just like a a little short wall, but it's too too high for his rockets to get over. That'd be really funny. Okay, yeah, do you ever get tired of telling unfunny jokes? Oh, Shut up. Fuck. Got him. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, the only other thing I really was gonna mention is just like, sh do you think Boba Fett should hate Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, or Han? Shouldn't he kind of hate them? He's worked he against know. them for all the OT, and and his fight with them ended up with him in the Sarlacc and here, where he is now. Like, what do you think? Do you think they'll never address that? Like, does he does he blame them or is he like, well, I was you know it was a fight, business. I lost. My business, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe I wonder if they'll gone. go into that at all because of course I'm pretty sure he's mm -hmm. like the contact for Luke in um in Mandalorian season two. So hmm, mm, I don't know. Um, mm. when Fennec jumped off the the fucking roof and then they ran the other direction and then she got in front of him, I do not have any clue how she managed to pull that off. And yeah. her jump off the roof is pretty funny actually. He's just like, Yeet. yeah. <laughs> He's just like, yeah. oh well, she's gone then. There's like, nope, she's in front of him. You're like, I, okay. The only other thing is just, I don't think Boba Fett is in character. There we wasn't got much character for like for them to stick to, but yes, there is. Uh, I think well, I like... think you're mistaking um so little with not characterized. It's like saying Palpatine's. We've got so little Palpatine, we can barely get it. It's like, well, we've of what we have, we can definitely get who he is. That's what. Um, shut up. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> but uh, Boba, I think, is pretty straightforward uh, once we've seen him in the OT. Like, I, I, I agree we get a little of him, but um, I don't know that there's much to misunderstand, you know? Um, but that, any kind of doubt, they have, like, exploded into Hero Man. And um, I'm assuming our theory for now will be that they're, they're doing Hero Man because he's gonna they're going to do an Avengers-type team with the TV shows for Star Wars. Where Ahsoka, Boba, Mando. I think they already um, said that that's what they want to do, right? Was it like? Yeah, but but over? like I guess what I'm trying to get at here is that we're not doing like it's not just a team up in terms of um everyone meets up and different things happen. It's more so like yeah. they're all gonna fight some I don't know big, big alien creature or some guy. shit. Crisis on yeah. infinite. Yeah, like Boba's. Tatooines. Bo's gonna be there because he's he's a good man and he will help them battle as opposed to he's there for his own fucking reasons or whatever. But I guess we'll see what what they end up doing. But I, I just remember when we wanted that from Mando. We were like, let's watch a show where a ruthless bounty hunter makes his way through the universe. Like, nope, he's a good guy. You're like, okay, well at least Boba Fett show will be that. It's like, no, who's gonna be the ruthless one? Who's gonna be the one who just wants to get money? Remember, he's a crime lord. He calls himself that, but he's also just like not a bad person in any way, shape, or form. Just yeah. doing more Bill Burr. Well, you know, how, how would we be able to watch him as a main character if he wasn't he's a like, good person? He's like a cute crime lord. Yeah, yeah. You know how else would we be able to enjoy his exploits if if, we, if he wasn't nice? Because they're they they're exploits. He doesn't do them anymore. His ploits are all spent. He doesn't ploit anymore. It's true. <laughs> Zombies. Ah. Is watching the previously on going to be basically the same experience as watching the episode? I think so. Kind of. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I lighted this part. That means this will be important. He'll find the bikers and he'll shoot them. Yeah. They'll be. Yeah, 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 they'll do something later. Tell the mayor I'm here now. He knows. Yeah, that's why I came. Whoa, that's right again. Oh, no. No, <laughs> they felt the need to show that again. Oh no, I got shocked again. Oh no. <laughs> wow, she lifted him up with that shocky thing? She like lifted his whole body up and threw him? That takes incredible amounts of strength that I don't believe you have. 
Also, I don't believe that you kicked him off. Yeah, well. Because if you kicked him off, then the fo equal force would be. I, I just. Don't, She's a world class assassin. You. What are you? She has a robot stomach, like, I have, Rags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. Oh, no, 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 she's an android. Oh, I think they added Fennec's helmet to that little uh, thing there. Did they? She's a very important character in the Star Wars universe. They ran out of helmets. Jabba's Palace. J Jabba. Should there be like a road? No, oh, no. Star Wars. You don't need a road. If I was Jabba and I had like all this money, I'd be like, you know what? We need to like put a road or something or maybe like a guard post or maybe a cool like a turret on the Man, top. Did they, they walk all they the way back? They walked all the way walk. here? <laughs> Okay. Get a speeder or something, Jesus. Is the, does the door open for anyone? Is there is there a door opener? She's she obviously has the right Is there like a ID normal card. door you can go through? <laughs> yeah, you it's just gonna be like a little door. <laughs> he looks so meek. Oh, I was here. What are you doing? Don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm complying. Oh, Jeez. And take his mask down. Who sent you? What were your orders? No, I ain't telling you nothing. To inconvenience you. Prisoner. Why isn't your helmet on? Why have you well, not taken not his helmet speak. off? He no longer needs his head. Oh, that sound effect. Yeah. Eat your da. Do you say eat shit? Eat eat what? I spared your life after you tried to take mine, and you curse me. They tried to tickle you. This show doesn't have the balls Do to have it open to yeah. actually execute someone. Years of the order yeah. Of the night. Years of the order of the night wind. Assassin for hire. Very expensive. Assassin. Where the fuck were you? Wait, you know this? How do you know that? Do they have uniforms? Fuck yeah, it's Matt Berry. Yeah, you Matt Berry. You won't remember a thing about it. And you, my darling, won't remember a thing about a damn thing. What the fuck would anyone want with Canada? No, Dude, I've heard of in so many comedy roles that Troy is just hilarious to me. Perhaps he fears the Rancor. Still have the Rancor? Okay. No, he died. <laughs> I guess they got a new one. Both also, times, did right. Boba like? What if Boba was like? I was talking to him. <laughs> Dude, it'd be well, really funny new... if it was just a fat guy. <laughs> oh, that's what I... got now. I'm the Rancor. Uh, I guess I'm gonna eat you. Charge our reveal! Charge our reveal! Charge our reveal! I was sent by the mayor. The mayor sent me. Let me out! It's empty. A oh, it's a good thing he didn't notice there was no feet. Yeah. Visit the mayor. That was lame. That was very lame. Yep. They didn't actually do anything. You're willing to make us believe that he's like willing to die before giving the information, but oh god. What if the, then he just immediately what if the Gamorrean guard was like, oh, he doesn't need yeah. his head? That's my cue. Katoink. Yeah. <laughs> why is that, okay, so why is, why is he happy to get like his head chopped off, but like bitten off by a big beast? That's a step too far. <laughs> I'm super he still has his mask that. on. Jeez. At least Boba has his helmet on. At least yeah. he does. That's cool. It's Trandoshans. Hello over there. Look kind of floopy with their eyes. Like ah. they do. Is it's like Boba? a weird mix of CGI, and it just doesn't yeah. look. I don't know. It's odd. Hey, look! It's Boba Fett. He was here yesterday. Bus, those, those uh, what are they called? Gamorians. Mm-hmm. Gamorian gods. They, they were, That's the species. They were some short skirts. Let's walk right up to the front <laughs> doors, guys. Right up to the front. The guy door. who tried to kill us. Yeah. yeah, right up to that front door. Hi, everyone, we're here. Are you uh, allowed sorry, to bring guns late. in here? I guess so. I guess so. I'm Boba Fett. I'm here to see the mayor. <laughs> but look at this guy. <laughs> this guy looks... He looks like a mailman. <laughs> Just... Do you have an appointment? I'm here to return it to its master. To... Uh, he has a gun for me. It's not funny. Pardon Fuck off. lack of pomp. For your entrance, I, I might just put a fucking bullet right arrive. through this guy's head right here. I'm not fucking around. Nevertheless, why would the, the assassins know strong. exactly it is who hired them? Why would you not use like a contact or? I'm assuming a it's a lie. I, I feel like it can't be this easy this early in the season. It is the new Daimyo Boba Fett, Your Excellency. Why did you send this man to assassinate? They didn't really assassinate sure you. you. They the mayor you. had nothing. <laughs> He's a member of the Order of the Night Wind. Oh. And you admit it. Order of the Night Wind. <laughs> Lol. Why are you Lol. standing so weirdly? What are you doing? You're not the even looking the down the sights. You're not allowed to operate outside of hut space. <laughs> Thank you for turning him in. Give this man his reward. Oh, okay. Sweet. 
Yeah. The Gamorreans are sitting there like, we're gonna help. <laughs> what do we do? Do we, do we win? I know that you sit on the throne of your former employer. And Fortuna was not my employer. Jabba, and Jabba obviously, a fucking yes. idiot. One of them didn't employ me, so I don't know what you're talking about. I assume you mean it's that one. Fucking, what a stupid thing to say. Are we not gonna address the assassin thing? Who really sent the night wind? I have no motive, as you said. Are you still leaving? He would have left if the mayor person didn't. He thought otherwise, no longer draw breath. What did you come here to do? Some advice. Running a family is more complicated than bounty hunting. Is that it? Yeah, thanks. Go to Garza's sanctuary. Why? You'll see what I speak of. You just tell me. He's on the quest. We gotta do all the little. Little chapters. I want to see how he does his thing. Dude, I'd love it if Boba's decision here was to just be like, nah, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I just don't give a shit. Hey, Max Rebo, are you Do here? You just walk into buildings waving your gun Max, around. Where are people? Are people alright with that? There he is. Yes. Hey, Max. Max Rebo. Yay. Oh my gosh, have you seen that Boba Pack guy? He's so dumb. Why? Took his helmet no. off again. Do you take it off? Now you're sweating like a gumped on Mustafa. Like a wood. He's not sweating. <laughs> yeah, because that would Good ruin work. the makeup. <laughs> the twins have laid claim to their late cousin's bequest. The twins are preoccupied with the debauchery of Hutta to bother with any ambitions on Tatooine. Okay. Um. Oh no, it's the Rancor. The jazz playing stops. <laughs> uh, what is happening? Max is just like, oh, whatever. It's the club, club next door. Has the music too loud? Yeah. Yeah, Thank the best you. Player. I'm much more comfortable whenever he puts it back on. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. you just talk with but Fennec still on. doesn't have her helmet. Yeah, because she's just stupid. Does she have her knee rockets? <laughs> oh, I, would I think her helmet is the only armor she even has. Oh. That fan okay. ain't gonna do much for you, honey. It's Weasel! Oh, they're, they're really touching. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was about to say, goddamn. I don't believe that those guys could carry them. Yeah, that looks like a lot of fucking weight. Maybe they're Look, very slim. It's even like heads. it's bent oh, or bending. Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck were you guys before? Yeah. Really? We're doing this? Okay, finally we're doing this. Yeah. He's rubbing himself with a rat. <laughs> oh god, it's this guy. Oh my gosh, is it a Wookiee? Ooh, it is a Just Wookie. shoot him! Just shoot him with your gun! He doesn't have armor! Just yeah. shoot him! Yeah. Shoot him with your gun! Him. That's yeah, a big now gun. Be better. That is a big gun. Shoot him. You got shoot him. You got him. Many glad these are not the despots of Durr, and I am not a sleeping trend. The despots of Durr? This territory is mine. I have knee rockets. Do you really want to fuck with me? <laughs> you upset my sister. <laughs> Why are the subtitles fucking beige when everything is sand? Oh, like what that. did that do? Uh, it no made it go. A coward usurped his territory. Do you like even he... know that? Yeah, I guess. Well, no, but we don't know the nature of Boba uh, Bib Fortuna's rule. These guys like, like, why didn't these guys down? kill Bib Fortuna then? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, why didn't they just come in and take his stuff earlier? I don't believe That's it. That's not a fucking hut believes true. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's gonna be dealt with later. You just came out here to say that? Dude, the CGI doesn't look as good as the puppet from 40 years ago. The puppet looks fantastic in Return of the yeah, Jedi. The puppet looks great. really good. Oh, the, the those two Gamorrean guards are like, oh, thank God I'm not gonna get shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was not gonna be. Well, those two are gonna have a boss battle. Uh, Hopefully yeah. it's good. I'm sure it'll be incredible. I'm really invested in these two characters fighting because they both I look would, cool. No, I would, <laughs> I, I'm like genuinely impressed that we've had like 15 minutes of talking. I can't believe it. But we know I, I so can't believe little. we've acknowledged that there's other huts. It's amazing. Yeah. And they just left. They just left. Don't take and that's your helmet that. off. Keep it Especially on. Especially not now. Yeah. Not right now. Yeah, what if they lie to you? Sniper just shoots him. All right. I'll we'll be in my backpack. Back no. Also, no. I find it bizarre that we're supposed to believe the huts were like, we need to go out today. Why? It's like we're gonna go look for that Boba Fett guy and tell him this is our territory. What if he says no? What if he says? Well, well then we'll just go home. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the plan. <laughs> also, why does he have to be in the back of the tank? Consider that as a night? possibility. He's healing. Like, they like, like we own huh? this place. And he's he's like, healing. No. Look at him. He's using oh, the stick. Look at him go. You're so good at using that stick to fight. It's the lady that so beat him. So this is just posing. 
Why do they want to train him? Uh, they respect him now. Oh. Why? I don't understand. What? How is this helping? Yeah, have they figured out a way to talk to each other yet? <laughs> Were you not holding on to that? It's actually made of lube wood. So <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Very you wouldn't expect Tatooine thing. to be the place where you'd find lube wood, but here that's it is. Actually, uh, lube wood is actually Maybe that's the one place you would Maybe expect. Maybe they dig it up. They dig it up. Oh, look, he's digging for oh, water. He's, doing... he's like, the, we have a building. fucking slave and I'm doing this? Okay. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. The last <laughs> slave. Teaching the slave how to fight while I dig. Yeah, you never taught me how to stick fight. What if you just hit him in the fucking face? You did the, with that? Th that the same hurt. moves three times in a row. I don't know what changed. Did you learn something? Yeah, he did a good job. Yeah, that's really great, that thing he did. Yeah, that's so cool. Look, this is what we call. This is better than Ray. I mean, like, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, look, another sand monster thingy. It's a sand frog? What the fuck is happening? It's a giggle. God, that looked terrible. Right, we got our first yeah, we got a Boba Fett. Just, so it just came out of the ground right next to him, and they shot yeah. him. I guess that was that's all noble. That's what that's just what happened. Oh, oh. Yeah, Boba's like smiling. He's like, yeah, that's great. That they did that. Yeah, good, good it's job. great that they did. That. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's yeah, great. Yeah, that is his face. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I approve. Oh man, we were having such a good time a second ago. I don't have more context for this, but Here. I think it's good that they killed that frog. <laughs> what are we? What's up? What's happening? What are we doing? It's a oh, is that like a sand one? It's a train. Oh, oh it's a train. Yeah, it looks mechanical. <laughs> it is a train. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, what? The... It's a shooting train. Oh, no. Look that guy. Shot the Bantha. What the fuck? What are you shooting at? I feel like those guns aren't going to do anything. It's expected to be a gun train. Look at Boba rescuing people because he's such a good man. So good. Uh, he's such a great dude. I would appreciate that if this were a heroic character. I'd be like, that's a good touch, but... Why is he doing it? Why did you not just let so, them pass? Why so did you do they, that? Is that what they do? They just go past and <laughs> they shoot, just shoot and then things. Go away. It's a gun train. Why, 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 why did they do this? <laughs> it's just a gun train. Just goes gun through train. the world shooting everything. <laughs> Quick, we have to. <laughs> it's like a Monty Python sketch. It's the like gun train. Gun. It's the oh. gun train. Oh no. no Look, it's well, the gun train. Oh no. <laughs> Why didn't you just duck and wait for <laughs> <laughs> If you knew all so it well, does is drive die. past and shoot, just so get weird. to cover. I don't oh, know, it's a funeral. Here, have the sleigh. Oh my god, look at all the people. I I <laughs> if I were Boba Fett, so. Half the fucking tribe is dead. Can someone explain to me why it's a country? They wanted to, they wanted to have this like, tragic scene where like some of the raiders die. But it was like, how do we train. earn this? And someone's like, I don't know. <laughs> Gun and train. Gun train <laughs> and then just goes away. I like how they just throw them unceremoniously onto just some fire, willy nilly. Yeah. Just like fuck that. This is on the pile culture. you go. No coins for the ferryman for you, asshole. You got killed by the gun train. <laughs> this is the biggest insult when you're killed by the gun train. <laughs> All you had to do was not just get shot by it. If they carried on doing literally nothing, less of them would have died. No space bikers again. They assumed tactical git mode down formation. People bump into people, each people other a lot. In this I was about to say, this say. desert is pretty small. What? You just go around him, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> stop <the train>. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the long speeder. You cannot stop the long speeder. I will stop them. I will take rifle and stick. I will take rifle and stick. I will take rifle and stick. <laughs> Fuck the stick. Just take the rifle. <laughs> Are you supposed to get the tra the train is so far away by I, now? Like, You're walking. Bro. Okay, here you go. Fuck? Bye. He'll be back, guys. Don't worry. Boba Fett's gonna go get cigarettes. He'll be back. Oh, he's gonna soon, take the I biker's promise. stuff, I guess. But like, I don't see how that's gonna help. How is that strapped to his back? He just Did has a random loop so, on his back. Have we just decided that the gun train is just gonna periodically come back? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. It's Fonzie. Gun train. <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun. We're, uh, yeah, we have a good. Us. Oh, my, oh, my, no. I'm gonna take your Space chips. Crit. I sure do love chips, and this I love is your mine drink. Now. Ooh, that's how you get. That's how you get coronavirus. Yeah. Oh, cooties. <laughs> You're Whoa. such a fucking cuck, Jerry. It's not right. What'd you just say, boy? You said it's not right. Oh no! They've oh, got no, the little ticklers. Oh no! Not those! Oh no! Not those!
Oh my gosh, Boba is gonna save the day. There's a stage light right outside the door. Can someone is, get the yeah. hobo out of my restaurant, please? Why didn't everyone stop to pay attention? It's like, oh, a man walked into the bar. That <laughs> he looks threatening, Jay. He looks like he's up to no good. <laughs> During all the gun. Why would you? You shot the gun once. You brought the gun to shoot it once and then pulled out a stick. What the yeah. fuck is wrong? Also, this is like, I thought this was like a training stick, not like an actual. Yeah, why didn't one. he bring like the actual stick? Wow. Like oh, oh, dude, did I did Wow. Do you know how hard it is to get glass replacements here? <laughs> Easy because you just burn the sand, it's but that's sand not really everywhere. So, like, you when their friends come back and they're dead, these oh, guys are dead. Yeah, yeah they're, they're only like, knocked out. You gotta. Yeah, wait. when they wake up, they're dead. I find it funny that yeah, this dude flows like, when they're part. Have the balls to have the main character go around executing them all. Instead, he's just gonna be like, I like this one, I guess. I'm glad we had that scene where he looked Didn't at the Didn't he say it's gonna be back by morning? It's morning now. Well, it could be, like... Oh, they oh, took them all. Man, those poor bar owners, they're fucked. Man, they really figured that they could pad this season with flashbacks, didn't they? I just oh, realized, like, a lot face. of this episode is getting thrown away to this train heist that I guess we're doing. It's essentially like they, could, they just couldn't decide whether to do a season about him escaping or a season about what he's doing now, and they just did both. Yeah. I could yeah. kill the gun train, but I brought what you, are you doing? baby. What, what the fuck are you doing, you idiot, stupid barbarians? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're fucking what destroying them. What are you doing? They you could use them for yeah, just threw something away. That dude just threw something out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we won't destroy them. And even if you can't, like, use them, you could sell them for money. Money is a pathway to many items. Some would yeah. consider unnatural. Yeah. Some would. This makes it go. Please tell me that's all he's going to teach us. <laughs> this makes it go. Okay, who wants to go first? The handles get no, pushed you forward. No, you didn't. You haven't. You, no, you Did haven't. No, you, you? you haven't taught them enough. Oh, this, gonna, we're, we're gonna do a funny. Yeah, we're gonna do a funny. Yeah, we're gonna do a funny. See, funny. Come to me. No, wow. why would you? Wait, what? what? Practice it. Oh. <laughs> How many warriors died in training? <laughs> hey, there you go. Oh. You want to see how fast the train goes? Oh, I thought I thought the train. he says uplifting music playing. I thought was what he was saying with his hand. Uplifting music playing. <laughs> it's a montage. There are always a montage. <laughs> hey, he did it. Look. I'm so glad he I'm did it. I'm still unclear on what Whoa. the maneuver is needed for, but I guess we'll find out. Because yeah. if someone's next to me in a speeder and it looks like they're about to jump, I'm just going to be like, oh, I'll, I'll either accelerate. Uh, or, or I'll break. Just saying, by the you know, way. I feel like the gun train is ready for some speeders. <laughs> Probably. I feel like the gun train it's the called train the gun train. train. <laughs> no one fucks with the gun train. Rule number one of gun train. No one. <laughs> He's breaking. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? That? Searching for those things, I guess. Gun train, gun train, gun train. Gun train, gun train, gun train, gun train. Who wants to die? Did they know it was going to come this way? So they, is it just is, is is it legit just a train that drives through the desert shooting them once a day? Like, I, uh, yeah, but it probably has stuff on it. <laughs> like <laughs> like guns. Gun train. I just but by the way, guys, we're called Tuscan Raiders. This is not going to help our reputation. No. <laughs> Where's it going? I don't what, know. What the, <laughs> like, why don't you Oh shoot. god, gun train! I've seen people outside shoot You're them! Like, yeah, more Tuscans to shoot, right? Oh, yeah, I love it. We have spotted life. <laughs> Destroy it. Guys, get your Banthas. Wow. Stop yeah. moving them out in the open Fucking to be duck. shot. I love, they bring Banthas just to become cover. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. why they're here. How'd oh, you get that close? These are the easy <laughs> shot. Yep, they, that should Whoa. just happen to all of them. What's the plan? What are you doing? Oh, you come on. Scopes. What? what? No, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't no. believe you're making shots. And these last points, too accurate for sand people. Do you know I how fast that thing you. moves? Even with a scope. Like, no. Insanely mm. fast. Tiny target. First shot, what? they just nip. Breaking hurts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> you idiot. Oh, you're dead. 
Oh, I guess what happened to the other speeder didn't happen to yours. Yeah, okay, Boba's got a little bit of that armor. It's oh, fine. He's... <laughs> ah, what idiot? Yep, that what? happened. Why not just shoot them from the hatch? How stupid oh, yeah. are you guys? They can only come out of this hatch. Right. Just, just you aim your gun at it. Here? Fighting it's... on top of a train sucks. Oh my god, this is going to be awesome. Oh, the dust! Okay, let's try that again. Ah, shit! Redness! All I want is to fight on the top of a train! Had they come out any earlier, they'd all be. There you go! Yeah, there you go. Oh, they've got that as cover, okay. Well, I mean, this still seems over. How are you getting out of this? Wow. Wow, wow, what wow. What? Alright. What? 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 Guys! What if that shakes the train and they fall the fuck off? The train! Look at this yeah. little guy. <laughs> yeah, he's like, push the gun train, they said. It'll be easy, they said. Go, little robot. Ugh. Go down right. the hatch. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> How did Why that happen? happen? Yeah. They, they all have guns. Hard? They're no. just not shooting. No guns. Yeah, okay, oh. of course. Yeah, why are you... <laughs> why are you running directly into the thing? What? Oh, you you deserve <laughs> that death. Deserve Fuck that. you. I really don't believe it's going that fast, by the way, with how he's just seemingly... Oh. Stop the train! Well, you sped it up so much, now it's breaking. What? Why? <laughs> he jumped out the window! <laughs> no. is, is that the droid's protocol? If someone comes in, just jump out of the window. He's just <laughs> leaving! He's like, just running no. away. <laughs> what is this gun try? What is the fucking <laughs> point of this gun try? Oh my god. It's like a mechanical shark and James Tins is out. Like and I'm like, why the fuck are you here? What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's breaking. It's gonna stop. Just leave, I guess. There's nothing on the gun train at all. It's just a gun train. It just shoots people. It's a gun train. He's like, there are no more guns on the gun train. I don't want to run no train. I want to run a gun train. Oh, man. Oh. Jeez. I hope you were in the price position. Yes, also deactivated the floating machinery. Yeah, floating. yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the we fucked up. Like, no more. Oh, oh, we only got one episode of the gun train. Oh, they're all here. Oh, how did you all <laughs> run here? <laughs> wow, that's actually a good question. How the fuck did you get here? There's oh, look no at all these guns! There's no way that they got here so trains. quickly. Man, if only gun yeah. train. You need them. This is, like, a side quest in an RPG that I don't give a shit about. Like... <laughs> <laughs> It's like, why, why am I doing this? Well, because it's a side quest. I'm Boba. Well, there's a side quest, so I guess I'll finish it. What's the quest? Oh, there's a train with the gun train. I guess I'll kill the people on the train and take the loot. That's literally the episode, except there's no fucking gameplay. This <laughs> it's all cutscenes. No Are you going to give us? That depends on how you answer what I'm about to ask. Do you want to get killed? <laughs> <laughs> Carrying spice. Oh, this is Dune. Spice. It is Dune. Dune. Spice. What does spice look like? Like that. Wait, were you were you gonna lie and say you didn't have spice on the Not train that they're good. raiding? We thought you were uncivilized raiders. We were trying to protect our route. We made this gun train for this purpose alone. <laughs> we're just trying to protect our route by killing free. everyone. These hands are no longer free. For you to pass. These people lay ancestral claim to the Dune Sea. No one fucking cares. Does this Boba give a shit about that? I don't know, I guess I he guess does. He and does and well, yeah. native rights, I guess. You now travel under the protection of the Tuscans. Under the protection wow. of the Tuscans? You just, you no, the Tuscans would be like, no, nah, The Tuscans kill will guys? kill them. Yeah, they, they killed Jerry and Frida and Andrew and Ryan. And yeah, you are you really sure that the Tuskers aren't just going to kill them because of how many of are their you bodies? Sure no, what are you doing? No, you no. wasted it all. No, no, it's wasted. No. No. Oh my god. Oh, it's just like Mad Max. It so much. No. <laughs> Is Boba not at least a little stressed out about that? Like, hey guys. Um, right. Look at how much of that don't water is being wasted. It's oil. It's oil. <laughs> so he's going to he's gonna unite the Tuscan tribes. Uh, well, my question now is, how relevant is all of this going to be if we have now jumped forward to him trying to be a crime lord? Like, is this... Mm. Surely this is relevant in some way. A gift. This oh, is the gecko box. No, no, close the gecko box! Close the gecko box! I will let it guide me. 
<laughs> it will guide me. Ah, bastard! What the fuck? Oh my god! Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? There's a fucking gecko in it your brain! It will guide you from inside what? your head! What? I was tripping. Thanks. No, I think he just farted in my brain. Dude, what the he, fuck? he was like, things were okay, but now I'm. What's happening? <laughs> like, oh my god! You can listen in my fucking nose, bro. I give you guys a gun train, and this is how you. I just have a lizard in my head. <laughs> there's a what lizard the in my fuck? brain right now. I'm processing the fact that there's a lizard oh. in my brain. <laughs> is he actually here? What's happening? Is the lizard giving him psychotropic visions? <laughs> Boba Fett's had a weird yeah. life, you know? The tree. <laughs> the tree I the need tree. it. No, oh, no. No, 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 it wants to... No, oh, no, it wants to... Oh. This is how you become a Tusken Raider. <laughs> no, it's just like the thing, but different. Uh oh. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What are we doing? Also, do you remember there was a there was an A storyline? I guess we're not doing that today. Yeah. Nah, fuck you, tree. <laughs> yeah. Ape he's, he's just he's just drooling while walking around on the floor, just like that. Watching <laughs> <laughs> All the Tuskens are laughing at him. Ah, oh, his first trip. Look at that oh, idiot. He's, <laughs> he's like Gandalf, <laughs> like, just spinning around. This is a drug that you take by let by. Just to be clear, they don't put the lizards in your nose. It just goes up there. That's what it wants to do. <laughs> I think it's That's what with. its life cycle is. It just I want it to it make you wander out, out into the yeah. desert. Right? Thank, oh, thank this episode for introducing us to gun trains and nose lizards, man. <laughs> guys, guys, he, he he's made totally it. Bad. Oh, <laughs> he's got a stick. No, oh, he's got. Dude, dude, he's gonna be like, I made a friend. Like, <laughs> this is my friend. He tried to hug me and showed me visions of my past. <laughs> oh, you back from his trip. Dude, I, I want him to sit down and be like, was there a lizard? Did that happen? <laughs> Roll up my nose or was that part of the vision? Also, my spirit animal is a stick. <laughs> so they just let him walk off and hope for the best. Yeah, so they gave him like a loose leash and could let him walk up into the middle. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Why is that how it works? Oh. It's attracted to wicker baskets and noses. How did the lizard evolve? <laughs> he said have, I thought he was like, part of the dream. Uh, <laughs> I knew show it. Show me the branch. I just don't show know me, <laughs> show me the branch. <laughs> oh, is this how he gets his, his proper this stick? Is this is his this stick. Is a, yeah, yeah proper they're gonna stick. carve his stick out of that. If you need a proper Bring stick, you need to put this lizard in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's <not Right>. <laughs> <laughs> I will make the greatest joke. stick from this. Do you have to do this every time you break your weapon? It's like, oh fuck, where's the lizard? Oh, no, <laughs> not the no. The I just have been evolved to be on brains. They give you a lizard that crawls into your brain, makes you hallucinate, so you wander into the desert and find a tree, have visions of your past, and you know to break off a limb and bring it back so that they can make it into a club. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. What if you just don't find a good club stick? There's well, like oh, you have like a, you just get a twig. And you're like, is this uh, is this good enough? No. This is the what outfit he was on skin with skin Mando skin. season two. I'm I'm very thankful yeah. they've explained all of this, by the way. I did need an explanation for why he had clothes. He, he, we, we, what we really just see is a scene of him introducing himself to someone as Bobonicus, and then <laughs> then him going, "Oh, that's too long. I'm not. I, I need to shorten that." You are now a Tusken Raider. <laughs> Oh, I have become Raider. Travel people who live in the middle of the desert sure do like wearing thick black cloth. And yeah. masks yeah. over their heads. Isn't that what you not you don't want to wear? It's like turns out your twig is pretty shit, sorry. <laughs> Can you get, get the no, lizard no, or do you need so another one? If I was gonna get like a, a stick to turn into a weapon, I, I probably wouldn't do it while tripping. I'd probably like <laughs> try to examine the sticks mm -hmm. with like the most coherent mind. Oh my god, he's got a little vice. Yeah. Love it. For stick. Crafting. Hey, my stick! What the fuck? Yo, ow, stop! Ow, stop! I don't see how this is gonna be that powerful, though. I thought that the it's main sticks were made of something stronger. It's an actual stick! It's Man, just really a good stick! At this. Maybe this is an awesome tree. Well, in the this is lube wood. Remember? It's loop wood. <laughs> Man, that's some pretty good patterning for your first try. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, there you go. That makes better sense. 
wrapping it in some stuff. He just throws while. it away and he's like, I'm gonna use my gun. Thanks. <laughs> this is fucking shit. I do really appreciate you helping me build this nice stick, but uh... We're getting more character yeah. development for a fucking stick than any of the characters. We've spent the whole... We only got like <laughs> 10 minutes of present day story. We spent the most of it here with the yeah. race. Yeah. And what a strange story it was. I, I really yeah. don't get why they didn't just start with this stuff and make like ep like this the first few episodes with backstory. If we're gonna do it, yeah. Instead of giving me the little thimble of of like actual main present day story. What are we uh, what are we doing here, man? You must have felt so dumb doing this. Because the people who write the show, they're just like I don't know. They just spin they just the yeah they do this weird dance. I don't know. The Bobley. Bobley. Oh, yeah. that's it. it was, oh, that was um, shit. I mean, what are we watching? What, th that, what was the point? God, we we came so close to having something there as well because it was like, yeah. hey, the huts, they're angry at him. It's like, finally. Wait, like, no, bite. sorry, we got forty minutes of flashback. <laughs> For, forty <laughs> minutes of nothing. Like, oh, okay, they fucking attacked a trade and got some resources, and they like him now. All right, and let's not talk about how dumb that shit was too. RPG quest level story, it, literally, like not even like main story RPG. That was like. RPG, like, side quest, there's a thing in the desert, go kill it. That's your mission. But that's the I main mean, story of the show. Even having said that, it's like, I feel like this is better than Mandalorian. Like, there's an actual story here. More entertaining? I like it there more is, than Mandalorian. There is more like purpose here. That we're doing something with. It is yeah. at Just least got the goal of being like, how did he get from the Sarlacc to where we saw him in Mandalorian Season 2? And right. Even it's, though we question why and how it all happens, it's like, yeah. okay, but we're moving somewhere. I just don't know why we're doing it in this way. Which is better than Mando, where it's just like random bullshit each episode. I still think it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, well, yeah, it's the, it's got the standard issue, right? Of like, how do we connect all of these things together really badly? There's a train that goes through the desert and shoots the Tuscans, so now we're gonna go to the biker guys and knock them out and then steal their bikes and leave those bikers with the innocent people in the bar that we destroyed. And then we're gonna learn how to ride the bikes to then raid the train. <laughs> Which mm -hmm. is driven by this little robot guy, <laughs> Spider. I'm gonna become the boss of the, the Tuscans, and, and then I get a lizard in my brain, and I get a stick. I think... I'm gonna do a cool stick. Where are, are there nice places in this galaxy? I, I is, is that. That. Place, I'm very upset about is that. Is there a place just this dusty, dirty, dooney, barbarian filled, scum crime ridden shithole? Like, are there nice places? Not We've been in Tatooine for a long time with all the content to do with this. We have. It feels very deliberate because, hey, yeah, remember Mando. Tatooine? That's like the main place you saw when you yeah, saw Star Wars. Yeah, it's not spaceport. That's where everything happens. Well, maybe maybe it'll be the other shows where we get to go to yep. new places that don't suck. Between this and Mando, yeah, they spend a lot of time on just these dirty, dusty planets. Where nothing, where nothing interesting is happening, too. Well, like, the I mean, opening I mean, meeting was bizarre. It was like... It was. There's yeah. so many, like, protocols that we're getting, like, we just sort of sit here and assume that everything has to work the way that it does then. It's like, walking with guns. Like, we're already like, whoa, can you even do that? What's your authority? Are you allowed, like, is there security? He just walks into the mayor's room. Well, like, I think that's okay. kind of like a big problem, right? We're two episodes in and it's still very confusing what the state of affairs is in mm -hmm. this area of the Star Wars universe. Who's in charge? What are they in charge of? What is the economy of this place? What are the uh, rivalries? It's very unclear to me yeah, what's going world on. World building is terrible. I have no idea what the state of anything is. I don't know who's who. I don't know what's what. Nobody acts rationally in this world. Nobody behaves like an intelligent person. So it's just flat out bizarre to mm -hmm. see anything happen. I don't care about anybody or anything in this world. I don't care what happens to anyone. There's no characters here that, that are even mildly interesting. Everything to do with the desert gun train was dumb. All of it. Gun train. They had a gun all train. <laughs> the gun all train the appears in the so desert. That's just something that they all accept. It's like, oh yeah, that's the gun train. Like, if you know it comes through here all the time, just don't be in front of it when it comes by. Like, uh, instead of like standing... You know what I would have loved to see, but like the Boba we were discussing before we watched the episode. You know what I feel like he would have done? Just like put an explosive in the ground, where on its path, blow it yeah, up. Yeah, and then blow it up. No, we have to do like an elaborate speeder chase. And you have like people crawling out because they've been, and he just like stands on their shoulder and just shoots them in the head, sort of stuff. And you're not even sure if like he's doing it to help the Tuscans or because he wants to raid the loot. 
Yeah. That would be a cool way to play with it. It's like, is he playing these Tuscans? But that we've could decided that he is a hero man now. Like, Boba Fett is just unconditionally a hero. Yeah, I do. Who Why is it that whenever, like, a fucking villainous character gets the focus, like, main character status in a TV show, it's like, oh, now they're good. Tell us who's a big villain. It's, Don't be a it's coward. A big well, oh, it's a big problem yeah. with Star Wars in general uh, since the, the Disney time, because I remember Battlefront 2, a lot of people were excited. It's like, oh, cool, we're going to get, like, an Empire story. We're like, actually going to get to play from the Empire's POV. That's going to be cool. But then halfway through, you become a good guy. It's like, oh... Yay! Yeah, it's <laughs> and and then it's the same here with Mando. We thought we were gonna get like a really morally grey bounty hunter doing crazy things in this crazy galaxy. Up hero. And he's a hero, hero straight away. They're all just and then uh, Boba Fett, the established piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> mercenary. Yeah. That's what he's supposed to be. And he's just a really good guy who does selfless things for people. He, he um, believes in the rights of natives. He's, he's he, getting to the point he, where it's like he, he Bobo. Like what, Bo? What were your thoughts on the Empire versus the Rebels then? And, and why did you work so hard to kill these people who are trying to, you know, escape Jabba's group? Like, like it's getting to the point where you're gonna have to explain that to us. Well, because this is a very yeah. short amount of time after that. A short amount of time after he helped Darth Vader to put Han yeah, exactly. Solo and Carbonite and deliver them to Jabba and hang well, out with I mean, Jabba, who wasn't a particularly nice guy. Well, he was trying to kill for him, seems so... To, this show seems yeah. to think that, like, mercenary crime lord is an aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wonder what spurred on this change. What, what, what are, what are, yeah. what is the, what is the show trying to say it is you know, I don't know what, what show it... was gonna give us a reason for it unless like his near-death experience in the maybe maybe i feel like that's all they could be right that your near-death experience in the sarlacc just changed your outlook on life but yeah. i mean Boba had tons of near-death experiences in his life we take the time to explore the time between mando and the sarlacc eating part but then mm. there's so many gaps in there first he get, gets captured by them for slave trading i'm guessing then he saves the kid, and then in the next episode, they just train him, and he likes everyone. And when someone gets killed, he goes out on a re revenge tour on the gun train. It's like, why? why? I don't know why he's doing anything, how did, really. How did, you bond, just... how did you bond? How long have you been here? And why aren't they giving you, like, other clothes? If you <laughs> It took uh, him a while. It's really weird, because there's still so many missing parts in between the things we're trying to clear up that we didn't know before. And I was like, here, have this lizard, put it in your nose, and have a stick. It's like, okay. And I guess this is There's done so now. Much time on the stick and the lizard spirit quest, and I'm just like, it's, what? It's just not important. Like, I don't, I don't yeah. need to know the I'm origin story of the stick. I, I, I can it. believe, I can believe that he got a stick that was really cool. You know, I don't need the origin story of the stick. Well, to be fair, dude, like, I, if you had asked me, I'd have been like, so he must have fallen into the cell, like, got out. His armor must have been stripped from him somehow at some point by Jawas, and then he mm -hmm. he, he uh, managed to team up with some Tuscans. I can see that happening, I suppose. And he would have spent some time with them in order to get back to his full strength, and then he came into Mando season two. That that must have been it. Like I don't I don't actually think that this it's unreasonable to infer pretty much all of that. Yeah, I assume that if he has Tuscan stuff, he yeah. it, we know he was in the Sarlacc pit. The Sarlacc pit's in the desert where all the Tuscan raiders are. So at one point he befriended them. And the the story that I could make up in my head instantly is way better than anything you're gonna waste my time with in a TV show. Well soon. You don't the have gun, the gun train was pretty funny, but absolutely dumb as fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It definitely took us like fifty minutes to tell the story. Like fifty minutes. And I actually agree with Jay. He was like, "What? Well, why, 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 yeah, it's crazy right now." Because uh, just do the uh, oh. just don't do it as flashbacks. Just start there, and tell this in a ho because we could have put this and the other flashbacks in the first episode, and then just start with episode that is now one and put the things that are not a flashback from episode two in the second episode. Then, or alternatively, just have one flashback. Yeah, like you don't you don't even need to lead with it. Maybe we should just lead with the current state of affairs, and yeah. then for the whole time we're like, why is Boba Fett acting in X way? And then we get our flashback episode oh. near the end of the season. I'm feeling that it might even be a possibility that we just get loads of flashback, like the whole season. Um, I'm hoping that this is the end of the flashbacks. I want it to stop, yeah. I'm begging for mm -hmm. it to stop now, come on. But, but how does what he... If there's just like, what if there's like remember? an equivalent to the gun train next episode? It's like the fucking... Well, just in the present day, by next time. <laughs> The the next episode of the well, so what I worry about is, I think that it's done because of the fact that he's exactly the way he was when we saw him in Mando season two. Now, mm -hmm. however, yeah. there were no Tuscan Raiders, so 
Have we what still got several friends? stories of how they all get killed, or how he falls in oh, love with yeah. the woman one and she gets killed? Like, what are we gonna do? Oh god. <laughs> it's totally gonna be, they all get wiped out, and then he's like, vengeful or whatever. So it's an interesting decision from, like, the creative standpoint when you think about, alright, what are we gonna do with him? We've got this time, we need to establish characters and stuff. Those are things we need to do. And they say, oh no, instead we're gonna put him with this group where all their faces are covered, so we get no easy way to differentiate individuals. They can't express themselves emotionally through, like, acting in terms of like, facial expressions, anything like that. They don't speak a language we can understand, so it's. Just, I feel like you, you, you really lost a huge amount of opportunity to work with a lot of stuff that could be in here. I guess he really, really wants the Tusken Raiders to unite and be strong and powerful. I don't know. Yeah, th I, I, it seems to me that they're I, just using the flashbacks as an excuse to have lots of action scenes that they couldn't otherwise put into the main A-plot. Which is bizarre when you think about not being able to put action scenes into a story like the A-plot should have. Yeah. It, yeah, it, 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 that seems like a, an excellent place to have these cool, small-scale, tactical sort of engagements. Small groups against small groups, and sabotage, and you know, subterfuge, and sneaking around, and doing some cool stuff, and a gunfight here and there. But I get, we just don't get that. We get stick fights and gun trains Whoa. wonder what the next episode will be maybe we'll see the huts come back and they'll be like hey presumably they're gonna really send people to try and kill him right i assume because they just he should have just put two in their fucking foreheads right there well that's what a mercenary might do but not hero fat that is in in incivility right there that's what that is rags God, their CGI looked lame. I don't know what they really could have done, though. I doubt they got the capacity to make the kind of puppets that we had back then. I don't know. It would have been great season-long villains, like all oh, the huts. And, you know, it, it cuts to them every once in a while. What are we going to do about Boba Fett? How are we going to get back huts? Da, 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 their job is stuff. How are we going to do that? And then you have... Well, again, and doing we stuff. had the potential that you could have it so that the twins were the ones that took hold of Tatooine, but they gave it to Bib Fortuna. They just wanted him to continue everything. That was it. Mm -hmm. But under their yeah. rule, now that he's gone and Boba Fett's taken over, that's a different dynamic, and they need to kill Boba and take. And then by the end of the season, you could kill both the twins, I guess, and it could it could piss off a big, powerful hut. These two were just given Tatooine to take care of or something. I wonder how the mayor will play into all of this. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. I just maybe I can I just tell you more if I knew any of the characters and what's happening. I well, I have no idea what's gonna happen for anybody except Boba. I just know he's gonna do the right thing. No matter what. I don't know what will happen as a result of what the characters I know have been told to me. Like, anything could happen in this show, and it stinks. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. Will this happen? Maybe. Will this happen? Maybe. Boba Fett, Season 101, Episode 2. One. Thanks yeah, for well, watching, so everybody. What'd you bring me?